Hello and welcome to AJ Storytime channel for kids. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Remember that I have live story times every Monday to Fridays at 11 a.m. and different programs in the afternoon. Bienvenidos a mi canal AJ Storytime channel for kids. No olvides de suscribirte si eres nuevo y darle a la campanita para que reciba mis notificaciones. Tenemos programas en la tarde y también tenemos programas de lectura en vivo de lunes a viernes a las 11 a.m. Así que si están listos, vamos a empezar. If you are ready, let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome back. We are trying this new toy. I can't believe it. It cost me only a dollar at the Goodwill store. Can you believe it? Yes, and if you don't know what the Goodwill store is, the Goodwill store is a thrift store. This is where you find items that are um use that people don't want anymore and i was able to find so many amazing toys there and brand new like you can see this one is in its package and i only pay a dollar so yes you could find great toys at the goodwill store and we're gonna give it a try this toy is called packet travel green fishing game and as you can see it has like little little features in there cute and we i guess we're gonna be catching these little fishes and it says it's a magnetic phone so yeah if you haven't come by the goodwill store please go visit the goodwill store you help your community by supporting by buying things that are used but you'll be able to find good stuff like me these are brand new toys for a dollar look at the sticker right there look a dollar that's how much i pay at the goodwill and it has instructions here so let's 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 read it it says first direction turns winder clock size so okay and then number two is use magnetic uh, pole to catch a fish so if you're ready guys let's get started trying this toy out let's take everything out and i'm pretty sure my son is gonna like this we have three little fishing thing you see it cute and let's take all these fishes out by the way, they look really cute. They have different colors. Look at this. And this one has his head down. Okay, oh, I guess that's how it goes. So, they're all looking up. <laughs> they're opening their mouth. And remember our first instructions. What do we have to do? It says here, Turn wider, wider clockwise, and win two full turns. Fishing pole in hand, release, and play. So we got to turn this, right? Let's turn it. Oh, I can see this moving now, guys. It's moving. I guess we got to do this a lot. And once I let it go, then I, I need to start fishing, right? That thing, I did not catch anything. I think I have to maybe remove this. It has like a little, there you go. It has like a little rubber band that was holding it. So I guess this is what I'm going to do, right? So let's do this. Let's see. Yes, ta-da! I catch my first one. And this one is a pink fish. Look at the face. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Next time. Next time. Uh, yes, I catch the next one, and this one is green. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, come on, come on. Let me tell you guys, they're supposed to open their mouth. This is funny. Let's turn this again. They turn clockwise, and then when they start moving. guys all right let's do this again you saw how many features i was able to catch i like this game guys you should get this game let's do this again all right let's see can i catch this one and it stopped <laughs> uh oh uh oh it looks like it's coming again all right guys so the whole logic of this is that when you start turning 
the fishes open their mouth and this part right here which is like the magnetic you see it it will like get them it will catch them okay like for example look see see all right so when you turn this clockwise right and you let it go they start moving around and then you just pass your little fishing thing in there and it will hold where it got attached to any of these fishes right but anyway i really like this game what do you think guys does this game work it works look at the little fish pink this is the magnetic thing right there and that's where you cash it and i really enjoy this moment playing this pocket travel fishing game and it has three magnetic poles and eight fishes right and we saw the instructions in the back right so it was really cool i hope you enjoyed this toy and as well as i did i'm putting this back and maybe this is something that you can use in the summertime maybe your mom or your dad can buy you this little game now remember that i purchased this at the second hand store so i don't know honestly if they are uh, they still have it there because the second hand store is where people give out stuff that they don't use no more and then you know people let me go and find it so maybe you should search it up on google and see if you find what they sell it maybe uh amazon walmart or who knows maybe they have this at the dollar tree so make sure that you check this out and if you enjoy this this is something that you can use and play in the summertime here's my fishes bye bye don't forget to subscribe to my channel so we can view more toys that i buy at the second home store and the dollar tree store amazing toys bye guys Welcome to AJ Storytime channel for kids. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the little bell so you get the notifications. Today we are reading Lama Lama, Thanks for Giving Day. And this is by Anna Dugney. If you are ready, let's get started. Lama Lama and his friends are learning about safety. The town safety officer, Officer Flamingo, shows them how to stop, look, and listen. All of a sudden, he slips and falls right on his ankle. Ouch! Looks like you have sprained your ankle, Dr. Hackney says. Will you be in scrotches for a couple of days, Officer Flamingo? It's okay, everyone, the officer replies. A hurt ankle won't stop me from doing my job. But the next day, Officer Flamingo tries to direct traffic and he realized that the crotches make doing the job difficult. Mama, Grandma, and Lama see that Officer Flamingo needs help. They take over directing traffic so he can go home and rest. Back at the house that afternoon, Lama and his friends think about all the things that Officer Flamingo does in the neighborhood to keep them safe. If you think about it, there are a lot of grown-ups who help all around our town, Luna realizes. Maybe we can make a special day to help all these helpers who help us, suggests Lama. It could be like Thanksgiving at Euclid. You mean like a Thanksgiving, thanks for giving day, asks Lama. Everyone loves the idea. The next day, Lama and his friend begin their thanks for giving day plans at school. They volunteer to help with a phone science project to thank their teacher, Zelda Zebra. Mama and Grandma Lama help the class make a cool volcano that actually erupts. Next, Lama and his friends go to the library. They thank the librarian, Lenora Leopard, by helping organize books. Wow, says Lama, it sure takes a lot of work to run a library. Lenora appreciates the extra help. Then Lama and his friends go over to Nelly's house to learn about firefighting. Mama knew a volunteer firefighter teaches them now to coil a fire hose into a neat circle. 
Suddenly, Mama Nu gets an emergency call. Gilroy's sister is stuck in a tree. She climbed too high, trying to get a ball that was cut in its branches. Mama Nu rushes to the rescue, with Lama and his friends right behind her. Mama Nu gives everyone instructions on how to help Lama and his friends. They hold a large safety net under the tree. Jump, Sister Goat, yells Mama Nu. With a giant leap, Sister Goat jumps into the net. Safe and sound, says Mama Nu. She gives the ball back to Sister Goat with a smile. After the assignment of that rescue, Lama and his friends pay a visit to Eleanor Elephant. She is picking up litter in the park. We want to say thanks for doing this and to thank you. Can we also help you? Ask Luna. Lama and his friends grab extra trash bags and get to work helping to clean up effort. Thanks for the thanks and thanks for helping, Eleanor Elephant says. Lama and his friends have thanked so many people, but the day isn't over yet. They heard to they head to Daddy Nod's bakery to thank him for feeding everyone in the community, especially those who needed the most. Daddy No offers them a sweet tree which gives Nelly an idea. What if we gave special treats to all the community helpers, she asked. Lama Lama and his friends decided to host a special celebration to honor all the community helpers the very next day. It is soon time for the big celebration. All the community helpers gather at the Para Gazebo, which Lama and his friends had decorated with colorful balloons and banners. Welcome to the first annual Thanks for Giving dinner, exclaimed Lama. Wow, says Mama Nu. This is amazing. Let's celebrate, exclaimed Mama Lama, kicking off the phone. Lama and his friends have planned lots of exciting games and activities. They have a ball toss and a potato sack race, and they even do a silly dance inspired by Officer Flamingo. Finally, Lama and his friends present the helpers with special cake and a poem. We appreciate all the things you do, and most of all, we appreciate you. They recite together. Thank you, thank you, kids, says Officer Flamingo. The thanks for giving celebration is a great success. Everyone celebrate by doing the flamingo dance together. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed this book. It's called Lama Lama Thanks for Giving Day. And this is by Anne Juni. I will say, think about somebody that you think that is very special. Somebody that does many things for all the people. Like a doctor, like your teacher, like your after school uh, teacher, like your mom, your counselor, your daddy, your sister. And write something nice for her. Thank you for joining me today. Please don't forget to subscribe and also give me a like and hit the bell so you can receive all my notifications. Bye.